assalamu alaikum this video is very important for those who wanted to read write serial data to the devices uh, i just have an example of this for example this is device you want to send a data this is a uart communication parameters and uh, this is a the program now if, if i press the start button now you can see it's already read, reading some data and here you can request a special uh, data which you need from a to e in this case it will return the result okay let's go behind the scene this is a program for the arduino now this time i'm connected to the arduino here i use a switch statement the, for example if supply a letter a then i'm generating a one number here from one to ten and, and it will be displayed back to the request and the answer will be a plus uh, the random number which will be 1 to 10 this is the case a similarly case b this also return the b plus uh, the random number that is generated this is the Arduino site and now is the the program okay in the program <coughs> I'm connecting to the port number three and the important thing is here here I am opening a new thread and in the thread I'm calling a, a method that will read write data from the Arduino okay and uh, this timer I'm using only to update a list to show data into these text boxes okay In the model I have a commands and then a list of command which uh, I'm using here in uh, in Arduino side each one have a command a and this initialized with the response 0 and the under the com port this is the method for opening a connection and here i have a method for closing the port and data receive here i am using a auto reset event this is also very important actually how it's thought what is the the flow the flow is i just open a new thread and i send a data okay in the data it will this is the response time send millisecond thousand millisecond it's around one minute and here i have a list list of the command this is the counter now this is initialize uh, true in the beginning where if it doesn't if it doesn't get answer from arduino within uh, one second then it will execute this part otherwise it will just write a data in a in a loop until it finish and here it receive a data whenever there is data on the on the port it will go to the 
receive side here it's receiving the data here it's it set the uh, the thread it says okay now I receive data can continue with the next command and here is the that manual send receive I press the start button now it's start reading this data and this is uh, actually very nicely managed as you can see the response is not mixing the front of the a it always get the, the response of a because it's sending a here is sending b c d and e it every time get the response here and the same time I can send here A or uh, B I will leave uh, this code in the description you can just download from there thank you very much for watching this video